he still did amazing. You know, he's just been always a solid player, and he's just been on that grind constantly. You know, he got, I believe, top eight at, at Rewired Fest, like you mentioned earlier. Yeah, he was able to Apollo Kage there, mm -hmm. which is a really good win. I believe both players. Yep. Very good. Both players are ready to start. Yep. Here we go. Getting into game one. All right, game one, I believe we're just going to go to PS2. PS2, yep. Yeah. I feel like there's not going to be that much uh, stage picking, other than like maybe loot looking for things to ban. I'm not exactly certain what Atomic would ban in this matchup. Yeah, I also don't know at least specific matchup experience these two would specifically have against each other per se. Right. Because you have, uh, like at least in the DFW area, I think the only K rule I can think of is like a 2 2 work. And then in terms for, uh, I'm sure Luke has probably played some like really really high level robs that going because just because he travels, you know, he's such a traveler. Yeah. But we'll see how it pays off. Obviously, you have, even though you have a big tier difference between these two characters, you have a rarity factor that is really going to help out. Yeah, I mean, you can uh, already see some unfamiliar uh, unfamiliarity coming out from Atomic. I don't think he thought he was going to get forward right there, and he like, took so much damage. Yeah. I mean, you have yeah, you have Rob, who's a very common character, and then Lukewarm, who is considered at the very least the best K rule in the United States. Yeah. Or is there another K rule in NA specifically, like Mexico? Uh, I know Bruho is in like the north, uh, is in like the northeast, and mm. has done well at a couple tournaments there. But I think he, uh, Luke still has the better results. As right well. on. Yeah. Getting that up to the upper though. That said, despite the unfamiliarity, it is at the end of the day still Rob against K Rule. But yeah. I say that, and he breaks out with a dash attack. I mean, we that's saw how Rob does against heavies during the Cadence set, so I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. Right, uh, especially if he gets that gyro in hand. That's going to be so dangerous that Luke has to watch out at all times. But right now, stealing the gyro away from him and just playing with it. Stealing the gyro, and you also have those extra projectiles on you that makes K Rule a weird character Ooh. in terms of like zoning play because you have the you have the crown and you have the blunder bus just right. as a way to be able to kind of like get off the tool and that that's going to be able especially. to get the backwards crown into that up air not going to kill atomic right there but still going to keep him up in the air it's putting him in a very bad position especially against a move as fast as k rule up air yeah i mean that crown is just going to do so much work for k rule it's one of his best moves for sure as i say that though Atomic finally being able to play the game as I, oh my goodness, I can't finish a sentence without one of these players dying. <laughs> I know. I'll, I mean, it just shows to show how exciting these games have been this entire tournament. Right. I don't think we've had a single time that, like, we've had it be very specific. But good job to Luke for being able to hold oh, on yeah. to that shield and avoid getting hit by a lot this of that. might be it, though. Uh, Man, just to get back. Put uh, the back the get up. Yeah, good Atomic's going to take Atomic. that game one. Check losers in between this set. So we got Skinny the Pooh versus JK Sonic. JK Sonic taking over Bert the Dragon 3 2. Uh, Cannon Red versus EO1. Um, and then Caden versus Nova going on on the side stream. And we got Cosma versus. I don't know how to say their tag. But it's like Ruski Nerd. Uh, I think? Yeah, it's Ruski Nerd. Ruski Nerd? Okay. Well, I, I nailed it. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a Ness from Austin that drove up with the DFW right. people, which is exciting. Yeah, I heard they were. I've heard about them. They're very good. I was talking to them, with, or talking about them with Joey. Mm -hmm. was, yeah, game two. We're gonna run it back to PS2, like you said. But we're gonna see a Nair side beat. We're seeing a lot of percent beat take off of Luke, yeah, and we haven't had a lot of percent armor. off. That's gonna be the nice thing about at least fighting against Robin this scenario. If they try to do those funny things, K Rule has the counter thanks to that Nair armor. And the addition of uh, having that reflector on with the down B. Yeah, I mean, we saw it there on that laser. And it's also oh, a fairly fast one. There. Like, you saw him. He was, like, point blank. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, Atal or sorry, Luke just has really great reaction times for it, too. It's ready for that laser immediately. Unfortunately, they're going to die to that Rob up air. No matter how heavy you are, Rob up air is Rob up air. Rob up air is still Rob up air. Yep. Like, it's basically what we were talking about during the Mario set, too. I think he even DI'd it correctly, honestly. Yeah. But I'm Interesting not choice for the up smash and not an up tilt or forward smash. I wonder if that was a misinput or not. I wonder if it's a misinput or if it was maybe like uh, a decision where he felt like he could get more after the up tilt or sorry, the up smash hit. But I know that is probably the laggiest up smash in the game, I believe, or one of them at yeah. least. Yeah. Um, 
That being said, that dash attack's still fairly fast, so maybe he's trying to do second hit of up smash into the dash attack. I'm, I'm learning as I go here, because this is the first time I've ever seen a K rule on this level, at least live. You know, obviously I've seen Kirby Kid before, like, or sorry, when he was still known as Kirby Kid, I've seen him play before. But, you know, it's cool to see him live. Yeah, the best I know about K rule is uh, when I've had to prep against, like, 40 in Arkansas. Right on. And, like, I've had to, I've had practice, like, try to learn some key things, trying to look at that cheese. Just but to get the PI, though. Well, it gets off smash there. Yeah. I gotta say, like during squads, I was casting with Sim Crew later, and just having that perspective of a K rule main was very helpful in that scenario. Right on. Oh, this doesn't get a kill off of it, but gets a really good grab, and 70% doesn't get hit with the nair. That lingering nair is gonna be able to get a little bit of help, but you see Atomic playing a lot more of that uh, oh, up air, like that up beat came, like focusing on the air because he knows that. K rule doesn't have anything to kind of counter it unless he tries to go for an up air, which is gonna put him in a very bad disadvantage state. So those forwarders from Luke coming out just constantly pressuring Atomic and just pushing him back. Felt like he had such a good good spot to be in, but then he was just forced to back up because of those uh, those forwarders. All right, nice nair coming in from Luke. And we could see a dash track be able to take Atomic second stock, but you are at 121. And even as a super heavyweight, Ooh. you could see a crazy dash track come in just like that. But living the super heavy, Living gonna that, get that armor. Yeah, that armor, thanks to the side, he's going to keep him alive. Dash, Dash Jack's not going to kill. Gonna Good kill. to Yai and Atomic. Jaro's going to push him out. Doesn't have the Blunderbuss Cannonball just yet, Forder. and the Bear's going to take him out. Again, that Ford is doing so much work for Luke. It's doing so much work, but Rob is still Rob. Like, you're going to see any aerial from Rob Dash basically Luke. take away Carol at this dock. As you see, as you see Luke trying to go for more of an aerial game or like a grappling game? As I say that though, that forward are gonna, Atomic finally catching onto that forward and getting the S smash out of shield. Yeah, that was a good play on Atomic's end. And yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. The Luke near the end there just started kind of chain grabbing him, you know? <laughs> just kind of doing a, doing a throw and then waiting for an air dodge and getting another grab. All right, and we're gonna see game three. Obviously keep the same characters. I'm pretty sure they pick PS2 again. I would be surprised if they honestly went to another stage. Like I said, I, I don't really know how much they'd play the the stage picking game in, the, in this set. Yeah. All I know is that it's kind of, like I've said, it's a really good mob stage, so it's kind of a scary one to kind of do. But I also know Hero benefits on the stage too. Right. <laughs> All right. You're trying to go for those down air spikes, Ooh, but unfortunately you're a little too slow. I love that flying up air. Whenever I see that from Rob, I, I love that stuff so much because it's just not what you expect most robs to go for, especially like your classic mid level robs. They will not go for that. They'll go for the nares. Go for the nares, the down tilts, the usual stuff. They won't go for those falling up airs as a, as a shield mix up. Alright, we're seeing the gyro dash jacks being able to help Luke in this scenario. He's trying to push Atomic back into that corner, but Atomic's being able, easy able to get out of it and put Luke in that position. Nice down air up smash is going to give Luke the lead for the first time. Yeah, I think uh, Atomic probably thought he was going to come down with Nair or something else because he air, he air dodged. There might have been a misinput, honestly. I would, I would believe it. Um, but he air dodged, and then Luke just getting the down air up smash. Try, has hold on to the gyro, which is going to be really smart. Avoid that tool from Rob and calls gyro. out the up smash right there. Yeah, the gyro, like, I don't think Atomic realized he had the gyro in hand, so he just threw out the gyro at him and thought he did, like, a different move that was more laggy. One key thing I just noticed about K Rule that I've never Before noticed before, uh, he he likes to use roll whenever picking up that crown just to avoid that animation of him picking yeah. up the crown himself. I've seen K Rules do, like, weird, like, pivot stuff to pick up the crown, like, with down tilt or up tilt. I've seen rolls, I've seen other things, like, just anything to avoid that animation. It's so critical, like it's such a big weakness for the character. Um, is picking up that crown, like if, if he uh, does it slowly. Try to use that upper to try to catch Rob from above, but unfortunately, Atomic is able to get it. And because of that choice, you're going to get a lot of percent taken off of you. Another thing I've, I've noticed in the set is that uh, even in the, in the cases where Atomic has him in disadvantage, in disadvantage, has him like like praying to get on the ledge, Luke has just been able to use that crown to kind of armor through whatever option Atomic picks. And it's worked out every time so far. Yeah. I also like how Luke is using those gyros to his advantage, using it as like, like that, a semi, right using it as basically a second crown. Mm -hmm. Get those little bit of extra strings that's going to be really useful. And because there's no, it's the an idle combo and not an actual 
uh, crowd, you're able to react immediately out of it. So you're getting a lot of dash attacks right out of him. Right. And I mean, that up tilt gonna kill there. That up smash, not gonna kill without rage. Getting that, doesn't get the dash attack. It doesn't get punished for it, though. Ooh, good Another roll jab. back to avoid the up smash. Carol's such a funny guy to watch. Like, watching him move around. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was one thing about, like, the design I was very, like, surprised with. Like, they give him, like, an actual, like, crocodile run. Yeah. But, yes, back to what you were saying earlier, how he's just playing with the gyro and the crown all at once. But yeah. he is going to get punished there for that dash He attack. was getting very greedy at that scenario. Atomic started getting self-aware of, yeah, he's going to go immediately for a dash attack in this scenario. And I'm just going to grab him and get that up air. I think he, I think Luke saw, like, just how much he was pushing his advantage and thought he could push just a little bit more, but Atomic being patient and defensive, able to get that punish. Yeah. Also, one thing I thought was really nice from Atomic's end is using the uh, up uh, the up throw, the one animation to avoid getting hit by the crown on the back end. That's right. Still see not getting it. He's been Atomic. missing that all day. Atomic's trying to get that dare spike just to end the set early. Able to shield the forward air, but the up smash is going to go so fast, shield. and Luke is able to take that game three. I don't think I was ready for that. It looked instantly. I guess that thing goes fast. Auto or what? That's the That's thing about crazy. Kegel's stuff. He's able to like get a lot of these attacks super, super quick, but the end lag is abysmal. Yeah. Well, I don't even know about that because that end lag, like, because end lag on that forward or just he immediately off smashed and caught Atomic off guard. Yeah, I think he hit everyone in the venue with that one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, end of the game four. Again, still on PS2. Uh, and we're going to see how much of this adaptation, now that Atomic has taken a loss, is going to affect him and immediately. That's the, that is it. That's the start right there that he needs. That's exactly the start he needs. That's but, 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 that is the that is the comeback you want to see from Luke. That was a crazy call out, and he just calls him what out. What the heck, The crowd Luke. behind us going crazy. It's so, that's so funny. You didn't think about like the day one, like, oh, I'm gonna up throw into the up BSK yeah. roll. <laughs> Funnily enough, you hear DFW not rooting for Atomic. They're yeah, actually rooting for Luke. for Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how can you not, you know? Yeah, Who's I mean, that was so high. Right that's something that DFW Atomic, has done a lot of these tournaments. When they see one of the DFW robs, like during Cosmo or Atomic, they're rooting for the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. A nice dash up F tilt. So that's like the left hook right there, left and right nice hook. Nice job going so weak, but that up tilt's gonna catch him back in the air, and Luke on his winner stock. Ah! Once again, getting that down or up smash. All right, you could that's get a funny. grab and a down throw to be able to take away something very precious and see an amazing comeback. Luke is not out of it completely oh yet. That clap, he's catching them off guard. Uh-oh, stream is dead. Stream died? Oh, stream died. died. Do, do I? Do we continue? continue do we continue casting? Okay, yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. we're gonna keep going. Side me going off for an atomic right now. He's got him in a bad spot, and the back air is gonna take it. Yep. Yes, it will. That is. Atomic's gonna win Luke. three one over Luke. Super strong throughout most of that set throw, and I, I think with a couple more games, he could definitely get the adaptation. Three one. Yeah, three one. All right, and I guess we'll wait for uh, winners final.